This is a very sensitive microammeter of the electromechanical type. It uh, reads 0 to 3 microamps full scale. The microammeter is connected in series with the lower brush on this little Van de Graaff generator and it measures the amount of uh, current that goes onto the belt that's going up to the top globe. So essentially it is measuring the output current of the Van de Graaff generator. Now this little Van de Graaff generator is essentially a constant current generator regardless of the voltages up on, on the top of the globe. Uh, so therefore uh, as the uh, charges are brought up to the top globe the voltage builds up on the globe and uh, the voltage that's on the globe is equal to the amount of charge divided by the capacitance. The capacitance of the little globe is about 6 picofarads and the charge that's going up there is 2.5 microcoulombs per second. Now if you'll notice there's a little discharge ball to the right of the upper globe there. Spacing is about 3 quarters of an inch. Uh, the breakdown voltage of that is about 80,000 volts in dry air at one atmosphere. So uh, if the voltage on the globe gets up to 80,000 volts then it should discharge. Uh, as it does uh, there's a very low resistance in that plasma between the ball that spark between the ball and the uh, globe. So therefore it'll discharge uh, it'll take all the charge off the globe and down to zero volts. And then uh, as it continues to uh, pump more charge onto the uh, globe from the lower belt it should uh, build back up again. So uh, according to the calculations there we should have about, it should take about a fifth of a second to, uh, to charge that globe up to 80,000 volts. And if we let it run it should be about five discharges per second. And we can verify that the current uh, going onto the belt is 2.5 microamps uh, from the meter there. Here we will see the meter go up to about 2.5 microamps. So when I turn the generator on, 